Hello everyone, my name is Alberto, welcome back to my channel. So recently the Met Gala happened and I thought I would do my personal sort of review-ish thing, maybe talking about uh, the best and not best looks, at least in my opinion, obviously. And I thought it might be fun. I did try to do the VMAs, I'm pretty sure, last year with, or a couple of years ago with very bad results. Let's retry. Hopefully it's gonna go better. Hopefully it's gonna be fun and interesting. We'll see. I have my iPad here because I don't remember much. So in case you don't know, the Met Gala or Met Ball is a benefit organized by the Met Museum. Metropolitan Art Museum and Vogue. Every gala has a theme, which is the theme of the annual ex costume exhibition at the museum, which this year was In America, a Lexicon of Fashion. Now, a little bit of how the gala works, because a lot of people were confused by the fact that it seemed that since this year the theme was basically American fashion, that most, if not all, of the celebrities would have worn American designers. However, that did not happen. Uh, there were a lot of American designers, but not all of them. The thing is, the theme is sort of broad and not that strict, um, meaning that it could have been interpreted in different ways, like everything that made uh, American fashion. There was denim, uh, there was references to sports, old Hollywood era, uh, called the age of Hollywood, blah blah blah, all the glitz and glam. So all of that was sort of underneath the big umbrella of American fashion. But at the same time, you don't really have to follow the theme, and everything is vetted by Anna Wintour, which basically decides if whatever everyone plans to wear is okay. Another thing is the Met used to sell tickets. I don't even know if they still technically sell tickets, but what happens is normally a fashion brand or a fashion house uh, gets a table, which sits a number of people, and then they uh, call up celebrities, actors, blah blah blah, uh, to wear their dresses and their fashions. All right, so going on to the looks, uh, we kind of have sort of groups of people dressed by the same designer. Like, for example, we have the Iris Van Herpen army, which I'm gonna include pictures here. Uh, the best one for me personally was Grimes. Iris Van Herpen is very recognizable, uh, so not much to say there, but I love the dress, I love the vibe with the little like grimoire book thing. The sword was a cool touch. The history of the sword is nice, if you don't know. It has been made with the metal uh, melted from an AR-15. Uh, so it's, it's a whole thing. And also the sword is gonna be added to the exhibition. I like the Hailey Steinfeld dress as well. I think it was very cute. And the same way as Grimes's was, is this sort of softer interpretation of what uh, Iris Van Urban does normally. It's a more fabric -y, which makes it in a way more wearable so really like that one as well then there's basically an army of people wearing tom brown which is cool because it's he's a very interesting designer especially for menswear not being that present on the met at least not in this amount like iris van herpen you can expect her to be at the met basically every time but it's it's cool to see a lot more of his stuff some like the sharon stone dress very nice very simple i loved the erika badu outfit a lot more Pete Davidson um, eh. I don't know somehow I just think it's not for the right person in this case it to me it just looks wrong uh, it works a lot better on Evan Mock this sort of staple silhouette of Tom Brown with the shorts or a uh, shorter pant cropped dress whatever with the menswear I think in this case, it also he's also wearing one of the masks that often appear on the runways on Tom Brown. I think this is a lot cooler, is a lot more of sort of the brand image. The styling was very good as well. Another one there I saw a lot of looks was Adidas um, by Stella McCartney. 
which is weird because she basically had the same dress on different people not even a dress it was more of a like a cat suit dress thing it looked like an Ava plug suit anyway I saw that a lot of people were hating on it because for some reason the fact that she was uh, not an American designer and not an American brand however they were fine with Balenciaga that's a bit eh. talking about Balenciaga since they're doing the most obviously we have Rihanna in Balenciaga Couture which was it following the theme I don't think so I don't think Rihanna cares to be honest she looked cool obviously the infamous Kim K dress thing in Balenciaga I one thing I have to say, I get the big impact that this gets, but it is a morph suit with a t-shirt. I'm not a big fan of Balenciaga lately. I think it's a lot of stunts, personally, but this definitely was a stunt. But I get it. it people just talk about that these days, basically, so it worked. Did it, Thing. Another one in Balenciaga Couture was Tracy Ellis Ross and I'm a I don't know what to think about it because I love Tracy I think she looks beautiful the color was incredible for her the hairstyle loved it however I hate this coat I think it looks so ugly and I get it it's Couture sure to me, couture, it, I'm, I'm used to the sort of more old school French couture, sort of more the, the Dior uh, by Galliano way, and I just don't get it. I, it's not my thing, personally, I think. I know it doesn't, it, the fit is on purpose, and it's a very... Balenciaga thing that they're, that they're experimenting with. If we take, for example, Elliot Page suit is sort of the same situation. I don't like that either. A lot of people loved it. I love the message. I love the Oscar Wilde reference with the green rose. Um, that was very cool. However, I it just as I hate these proportions. I don't like it. I don't think they're flattering. Now, moving on from the sort of big chunks of people dressed by the same designers, uh, if we wanted to do sort of a best and worst, a taste, personal taste thing, I don't see the point in saying they're the worst. I would still put uh, Rihanna just because the overall feel, uh, I love the little, the little crystal bandana crowd that folks throw love the whole look i liked sierra a lot as well the football gown with the sequins i think was great she looked incredible also basically everyone wearing oscar de la renta anokiai kaya gerber billy eilish they all looked very old hollywood classic they really can't go wrong with that i really like nikki de jaeger nikki tutorials uh, i think her look was very nice very fun i love the marsha p johnston's reference i think it was perfect she looked beautiful there are also a lot that were very very good just not personally my favorite for example we have kiki palmer she looked incredible it's just the dress was very simple and minimal troy c1 as well very simple very elegant uh, Gigi Hadid, uh, again with the minimal 50s slash 90s. Kate Hudson had probably the only Michael Kors thing that I thought looked decent. Uh, moving on to what I think was sort of a bit more of a miss, maybe. Uh, this Dan Levy look in low, people were going crazy for it. I hate it. I don't like it. I get the inspiration, I get the pieces. I just think it's too much. I think this would have been fine for last year's theme. I like some of the pieces individually. I do like the pants. I do like the boots. I just don't like the whole thing. I think it's not for him. It's just a bit much. Uh, Camila Cabello as well. That's just not her dress. The proportions are so wrong. It looks cheap. It looks like she borrowed the dress from someone. It looks like a prom dress. Also, in the sort of missed category or whatever we want to call this every guy was wearing the most boring stuff ever 
There were a couple that stood out, like Timothy Chalamet, which a lot of people hated this outfit. I loved it. I thought it looked amazing. But besides some others that actually chose a design, most guys still seem to wear a tuxedo or a suit, which fine, like you take Channing Tatum, he looked great in his tailored Versace suit. But that's just boring, so let's not talk about all the guys. There was a battle of the flower dresses. We have Lily Reinhardt and Christian Siriano. Uh, she has this corseted, structured, boned, transparent dress, which, to be honest, very boring to me. I think the story behind this dress is very cool. The fact that it has the state flower from all the 50 states, great idea, sort of badly executed, maybe. And then there was Irina Shaik in Moschino, with yet another sort of beachy, nudie dress with boning channels and random flowers sort of attached everywhere. I don't care about Moschino, I don't like Jeremy Scott and his designs. Irina looked incredible, but the dress, to be honest, was just meh. Uh, Virgil Abloh was there. Oh, we cannot forget, obviously, to talk about Lil Nax as well, because as Kim K was one of the big parts of this year's match. I, uh, I like the, I like the theatrical drama of it. However, I think the fashion itself, I think it didn't really tell a story. I think we have this sort of multiple reveal uh, Lady Gaga thing going on. And the, the first cape, I think it's very, very heavy and very plain at the same time. Obviously covers the big armor underneath, so it cannot be that slick. But I just think it's, it, it, I don't know, maybe if the whole thing was bedazzled, sort of more like Rihanna Pope thing, something like that, I don't know. It just, it felt very heavy and very plain. Then he removes it uh, to reveal this golden armor thing with the Medusa from Versace, which sure, I think could have stopped there. And then he takes it off to this cat suit, which is the simplest of the three, but I think weirdly the, the, the one that's more on point with the theme, because I think it has some cool Elvis references, unless I'm the only one to see them. But again, uh, it's fun, but to me, there's not much else to it, except for the drama, which we still love, but that was it. The two Aria dresses, uh, Simone Biles. I think the only problem I have are the proportions. I think the dress is incredible, but besides the weight that I remember reading was very heavy, uh, Simone looks beautiful, but she's very tiny. I think the dress swallows her up, uh, which is a pity because both of them separately are stunning. Also, the Aria blinged out blazer was very nice as well. Overall, clothing-wise, I think it was a bit more subdued compared to other years because of the theme. So, you know, not as much fun, but overall still a nice Met Gala. Again, uh, I know this was a bit frantic, but I should have had a script and I did it. So this, this is it. Uh, I hope this was interesting and fun for you. Uh, leave me your, in the comments your opinions about the Met. What did you like or you didn't? And yeah, so hopefully if you did like the video and subscribe if you aren't, that's a great help for me. And I'll see you next time. Bye, have a great day.